次の舞ハクレン What's up, guys? It's your boy Damon, aka Demotivational, on Twitch, and welcome to another Summoner's War video. If you guys haven't guessed it yet, today we're going to be showcasing and featuring one of my favorite units in, in Summoner's War, which is the Water Polo Queen, Alicia. She also happens to be one of the best arena offense cleaves in the game and can do a lot for you if you take very good care of her. So, without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and dive in and talk about her abilities. All right, guys. So, Alicia has a variety of skills that can create some very 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 unique opportunities for you let's talk about her skill one first now her first skill essence explosion attacks the enemy to inflict damage and weakens the defense for two turns with a 30 percent chance you want to go ahead and make sure that if you're going to use alicia in your arena offense that you'll want to make sure to max skill her when you max skill this particular unit, her first skill essence explosion gets an extra 25% chance to land defense break, which puts her at a 55% chance to land, which is a lot better than a very, very low 30% chance. All right, guys, so let's talk about Storm of Midnight. Now, this ability is very unique to Alicia because it really, really, really helps her decimate the enemy team, but... One of her biggest strengths is also her biggest weakness. And we'll talk about the, that here in just a second. Now, when you look at Storm of Midnight, guys, this ability is an AOE or area of effect, meaning that it attacks all enemies. Now, the beautiful thing about this is this damage increases proportionate to the enemy's attack speed. The main reason that this skill is a strength and a weakness is because depending on the team that you're fighting will determine the effectiveness of this skill. If you happen to be fighting super fast enemies, then this skill can deal a hell of a lot of damage. I've seen my Alicia hit units for as much as 44,000 entire teams, 44,000 because this ability hits very hard against units that have a lot of speed. Now, Storm of Midnight is one of the biggest counters to the speed meta if your team is faster than the other enemy's team and they're fast. Now, if you're fighting other types of units who are relatively slow, this is not the ability that you're looking for because you won't see the maximum damage potential. But worry not, because we haven't even touched on her third skill yet. Let's go ahead and talk about Frost Rush. Now, Frost Rush is one of my favorite abilities when it comes to Alicia because she attacks all enemies with Ice Pillars. So now she has a second area of effect skill and gains another turn instantly if the enemy dies. So when positioning this ability, you'll want to make sure that the enemy is death broken, okay, or their defense is broken, and that you are sure that you'll be able to land a killing blow with this ability. If you are unsure that you're going to land a killing blow with skill 3 and the enemy is fast, you want to make sure that you opt for skill 2. Her leadership skill adds 44% attack power to all monsters in the arena by 44%. Again, Alicia is one of those units that if you're going to run on your arena offense, you'll want to make sure that the rest of your team is relatively fast so you can take advantage of her skill 2 potential and maximize on the damage of her skill 3 as long as she's within the turn order and does not get speed gapped. Now, a big question I get all the time about Alicia is should I use her in dungeons? Can I use her in dungeons? And the answer is yes. I say she can be effective in a giant speed 10 comp. She can also be effective in dragons, but be weary if you guys are going to use her in a dragon's 10 composition. Things can get a little hectic because she can often kill the left tower because she hits so hard. Now, Alicia can be very, very effective in your arena compositions and sometimes in your PvE comps, depending on how you have her built. Treat this queen like yours and she will do amazing things for your team composition. Otherwise, she'll just fall short. With that being said, guys, the ideal builds that I would choose for this particular unit would include anything that includes attack, crit damage attack. Mine's currently on swift energy just due to a lack of blade runes right now, but I would practically choose any type of build, whether it be swift, violent, despair, rage, anything that you can get your hands on to get Alicia a lot of speed, a lot of crit rate, a lot of crit damage, and the ability to dish out as much 
damage as humanly possible. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another video by me, Damone, aka Demotivational on Twitch. If you guys enjoyed this format of video, definitely give this video a like. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns about your Alicia or any particular unit, definitely let me know in the box below. And if there's a unit that you would like me to review, also let me know as well. Again, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy Damone, aka Demotivational, and we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.